We've seen that so many times through our years here on the PBA and dealing with domestic and international players. Some of the top talents have grown up in bowling centers. Number two for Nina. Coming up next week, three European stars and one American. Part of the first of four Eliminator format shows that will determine the finals for the first major of the season. It'll be the Don Carter division of the PBA World Championship. The lone American being Jack Jurek. The Europeans, Oski Palermo, Stuart Williams, and fellow Englishman Dom Barrett. You can see that one Sunday at 1 Eastern. Big trouble on that left lane for her because she misses just a little bit to the right. The ball goes light. She tries to score it up and it goes through the nose. Extra frame, PBA's online video subscription service allows you to watch hours of exclusive live bowling from PBA events across the country. You also get product reviews, player interviews, and you can see our ESPN telecasts as well. Oh, there's a spare for Nina. That ball was about three boards left of the ball that she threw in the sixth frame. And there's no way that that ball is going to hold its line to the pocket. She's like, oh, I thought I was going to chop the 6'10". Uh, great reaction shot from Nina Flack. She stands way back to watch her country mate, Sandra Anderson. Leaves the seven. And honestly, this 45-foot pattern is going to favor Sandra Anderson a lot more than it's going to favor Nina Flack, simply because Sandra's got a little bit more on it. And the longer the, the pattern gets, the more conducive that is to revolutions. We saw Jason Belmonte, Sean Rash have great success on the same pattern. Even though Mika came away with a title, the high rep players really like that longer oil pattern. The heavier it gets, the better for them. Third consecutive mark for Anderson. Her lead now ballooning to 28. pin shy of her sixth strike. You know, if that bowling ball could make the move another five feet sooner, even, even three feet sooner, the 10 pin gets taken out. But because the old pattern's 45 feet, guess what? That's not an option. So what should she be doing? Well, she should try to slow her ball speed down just a little bit to get it to start to pick up a little bit sooner. Black and Anderson battling it out. The winner to take on your number one seed, the proud American from Jersey, now lives in Texas, CDB, Marilyn Gorin Bowler. Only two strikes for Flack. They have both come on this right lane. Tough pattern for her, Rob. Man, she never found a groove, did she? Yeah, it's just, it's hard to bowl well when you don't have a ball reaction. And she throws the ball fairly straight. And the longer that old pattern gets, the tougher it's gonna be for her. These women qualify bowling all over the world on a lot of different oil patterns, not just this. In fact, I think this was the only time 
it was used was in Mexico City. Flack down 30 as we begin the 10th. Mika Koivu Niemi was out yesterday watching the ladies practice and he gave them a little bit of advice when they're on television. What did you tell them? When they're angry, to verbalize it in their native tongue <laughs> and they will not be punished. No fines. Unable to convert in the 10th. Sandra Nina in the books with a 160. And Sandra will easily move on. Sandra will move on in comfortable fashion to take on our number one seed, the American, Carolyn Doran Ballard. And we'll hear from CDB on the backside. So our final is set. The 20-year-old Sandra Anderson from Sweden to take on the grizzled American vet, Carolyn Doran Ballard.